Hey, Andrew here at Shop 2020 with Rachel from Kimber, and you got all kinds of new goodies for us this we year, right? We do, yeah. So we have a bunch of new products that we love, but we're going to talk about some of our favorites. Okay. Um, so leading off the pack, okay, we're Kimber, you know, 1911s, obviously. Right. obviously. Bread and butter. So, yeah, so this is our Black Ice Rapide. Um, if you guys are familiar with uh, our Rapide that we had come out back in May, this would be like the lighter cousin. So slightly different flavor, um, but it still retains the porting on the slide. Um, the gun shoots as fast as it looks. Uh, it still retains the stair step serrations throughout. Um, we took that pattern, we put it on these black G10 grips. We also put it on the mainspring housing here. So we really wanted to carry that pattern throughout. Um, there's a lot of practical features on this gun though. Like as pretty as it looks, it's still a lot of useful stuff. We want guys and gals to go out, yeah. high round count days, have fun with this gun. So feature packed, we've got some high quality steel sights up top that are uh, day night sights. So, fiber and tritium. Fiber and tritium, exactly. So no matter light condition, you got something working for you. It's a U-notch rear. Uh, there is a high-vis orange um, ring on the front of the front sight, but overall, it's an excellent sight picture. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Is it long Please enough here? Do. Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I love cables that. Cables a pain in the butt. Yeah. I love that. Yep. Beautiful gun. And uh, again, same deal. High round count days. What you just see here, this black barrel, that is a black DLC. You guys are familiar with DLC. Yep. Most people are. For those that aren't, it's a very, very heavy duty coating. It will take a lot of abuse. It's also easy to clean, easy to get carbon off. Which Frozen is resistant. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, other things that are going on with this gun, you know, just as I mentioned, practical stuff, shooter stuff. Comes with AMB safeties on the gun. The grip safety is our tactical bump safety. Um, so you've just got positive depression of that passive safety on the back of the gun. Uh, we've also got the high cut under the trigger guard. If you guys shoot a lot, a lot enough, you know, you start to get that wear point, that nub on on your shooting hand, right? So I got I got mine that's kind of growing from thousands and thousands of hours. Um, but we want you to be as high on the gun as possible. Um, our, our people who really get out and shoot know that's the best way to mitigate recoil. Um, and then we've got a, an external magwell here. It's a single stack gun, so we're gonna be doing reloads. Gotta work that. Um, and overall, it's just an absolute showstopper. We love this gun. This is really handsome. Yeah. Right. So what you're seeing on the slide flats there and the frame flats is our Kimpro gray. And then over the rest of the gun is Kimpro silver. So it's a kind of a mild two-tone finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's, but. depending on the angle you're looking at, sometimes it, it almost blends yeah, at, at the edges. 100%, That's, but it's a beautiful gun. We're super proud of it. We hope you guys like it. I love it. This, this is beautiful. Yeah. What else do we have? Okay, so a couple of years ago, I want to say like three or four years ago, Kimber introduced their first revolver, and obviously we've got a few more here. You so are, yeah, absolutely. What's you're, new? You're 100% right about that. We started off with um, a simple, double action only, two inch barreled uh, revolver named K6S. Um, and we had such a phenomenal response to it. I mean, our internal teams worked so hard on it. We're super proud that everybody loves it. Uh, the trigger is what everybody talks about, yeah. right? So we worked so hard to keep it on such a narrow, uh, like smooth, just absolutely efficient as far as the, uh, the cylinder size. Um, it is still this S frame for us. That's our naming convention. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is just respond to everybody's, uh, hey, can, can we get a hammer on there? Their requests. Uh, can you get a longer barrel on there? Um, we want bigger grips. So we took all of that into account as the years went by. We grew the family. And today, here in 2020, we have our four-inch barrel Dotson. So yeah. this is, yeah, absolutely. Please awesome. do. This is our target model that you have right now. Um, the target model features these uh, adjustable rear sight and a red fiber front. It's a great mm -hmm. sight picture for a target model gun. Um, also the first gun that we've introduced with an adjustable rear sight on our revolvers. So that's brand new for us. Um, still retains that 357 caliber six shot, which is a very, uh, very, well, I don't wanna say it's a difficult thing on, on such a small cylinder, um, but everything received a lot of attention. Uh, 
Um, we just want to make sure that every detail has been looked at. Um, that single and double action trigger weights. Single action is about three and a half to four. Um, and then our double action is that nine to 11 pounds. Uh, it still retains that super smooth no stack trigger in that double action. It's a beautiful this, revolver. Oh, it's, it's so pretty. Yeah. And so that uh, stock for the old people, I know there's a lot of fight, like that's the boomer way of saying it, right? <laughs> um, but no, but seriously, so like whether your naming convention goes one way or the other, uh, we are dealing with uh, our walnut grip there. Uh, with check this ring. is really thin, yes. but it manages to feel pretty nice in the hand. Ergonomics are very important to us. You know, I mean, we we have a 1911 that you know is a huge program, obviously. Yeah. Right. But we all know Wait, Ergo. <laughs> Kimber makes 1911s. Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I heard something about a clock mag 1911 or something. Right? I don't know. You're going to start We're a rumor. Trying. Stop. Oh, Stop. all right, all right. That, that's not really happening. Um, but no, so um, everything received, receives a lot of attention to detail, as I mentioned before, but Ergo's big for us, yeah. right? 1911s, Ergo is something that everybody loves. So we wanted to take it to the, to the revolver platform. So this is our target model. We also came out with a combat model. Combat model is essentially a lot of what you're seeing on that target. Okay. But really the biggest difference here, speaking of butt, is our finger grooves that you're going to see yeah. on the front strap. Um, and we're dealing with a white dot dovetail sight, which oh, is a wow. very classic sight. You don't sight. see this on revolvers. The, Again, the whole three dot arrangement, yeah, that's yeah. not very common. Well, we see the square in, in the rear, we see the, the orange blade sure, up front, but yeah. we normally we see this kind of sight on an auto, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and again, you know, most of the people that are familiar with the Kimber name are coming from the semi-auto world. So okay. um, it's a natural, that makes sense. You know, it's a natural invite into the wheel gun world if you're if you're a first timer to it, or a natural invite back with a level of familiarity from us. Um, but again, still retains all those classic, incredible features that push button for a cylinder opening. Um, we've got a three-point lock up there. We've got recessed chambers. It's just, it's a beautiful revolver. Highly recommend you guys get out and shoot these guys. More than anything I could say, it's gonna matter how it performs. And uh, I, I just can't say enough uh, good so, stuff about it. Stupid question. Okay. Um, I'm not, I own a couple of revolvers, okay. but I'm not, I wouldn't be considered an aficionado by any stretch of the imagination. Sure, okay. So why w does a recessed chamber matter for an, a, a rimmed cartridge? Right, I mean, so obviously for nine millimeter or something right. like that where you use moon clips, right. of course it has to be to, to clear. Right. But so again, we're talking about consistency. We're talking about um, ability to control everything that's going on with the explosion. We're talking about ability to be consistent with the timing on how the cylinder moves and integrating with the rest of the gun. So okay. all of these things are very, very important. Um, but again, also we're dealing with clearing an obstacle on being a company that didn't have this platform before. Yeah. So everything mattered to us because we were not about to get into the revolver game of course. and put out something that was subpar. So if by some stretch, by some circumstance, one of your 1911s wasn't perfect, people might understand because there's lots of other 1911s sure. that you put out that are great. Yeah. But well, we're a big if company, anything we're, wasn't, we make a lot of guns. There's a, <laughs> yeah, there's a numbers it, game it in there. It can happen. Yeah. But if something was less than perfect on a product launch, that's going to be a problem. I, yeah, I, that's I can, an absolute uh, uh, fall on your face moment. Um, nobody likes that. Um, and as I mentioned, the teams that have been working on this revolver, uh, they worked on it for years. It mattered to them, right? So they, they needed to make sure this was their baby. Um, if they were going to bring another revolver into the world, it was going to be an absolute stunner. It is. It is. It's beautiful. Again, Revolvers aren't really my thing, but if I were to buy a revolver, this would be really, really high on the list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and it'll be worth it. So, um, we have two more models in our Evo SP line, which okay. is over here. All right, talk to me. All right, so we got a wall of Evo SP here. Um, we were just talking about a single action hammer fired gun, a 1911. Then we moved on to a DASA revolver. 
now we're here with a myriad of striker fire guns. So we released Evo SP last year as a line. Um, we had four models, we've grown it up to five, but this year we wanted to provide something that was everything you need, nothing more. So, okay. um, you know, with something like this, uh, a concealed carry gun is an investment in the ecosystem. You gotta get holsters, mag carriers, yeah. maybe a belt to work with that new holster. I don't know, then you gotta train it, then you gotta work it, then you gotta get all of the stuff associated with that going. So, you know, while we reduced, uh, excuse me, while we introduced a pretty good variety of fits and finishes within this family, um, one of the things that we did want to also provide this year was something that was going to be not a stumbling block as far as price point happened. Okay. All right, so we have our Evo SPCS here, which has got everything in the kitchen sink in it, um, some pretty incredible uh, slide cuts here. I yeah. mean, it is, yeah, that's, it's super cool. I, yeah, absolutely. That is, that has got a lot going on there as far as, uh, cosmetically at least. Absolutely. And so associated with stuff like that, you know, is a machining cost. Of course. And everything yeah. that goes into it, right? So what, MSRP. Are you telling me that you actually pay your machinists? Oh yeah, yeah, we do. I know, <laughs> it's weird, right? Yeah. Um, they're really good people. I know a lot of people by their name. They're awesome human beings. They put a lot of pride in their work. And human beings have to eat. Yes, they do. Um, so the price point on this gun has been halved with these guys. Okay. All right, so that's the top of the line in the Evo SP lineup. But these selects, so here we have um, one of the two, we have the Evo SP Select in stainless, and we have it also in black. And essentially it's a pretty obvious difference between those yeah. models we're talking about, just a finish. But they still retain FNC finish on the slide, on the barrel. They still retain quality sights. These guys have white dot sights, or our higher price point guns retain that day-night sight setup but they're still ledge, they're not plastic. Um, they still retain this hardware-less grip system that you can configure to your liking. So these have a different size, they can go up, they can go down, same with the back strap. All it requires, no special tooling, just a simple hex key that gets walked out about a quarter inch. Okay. And then everything pops off and you can switch that up if you want a bigger palm swell or a narrower profile, that's up to you. So these guys, their grip material is black nylon, whereas our other guns are uh, G10. But I mean, I think uh, you guys know and your people know what can be done with plastic can be customized, yeah. right? Yeah. And then if well, you also, don't like it, you don't lose the gun. You this just is, lose the This grip. is a concealed carry gun. It's absolutely so, for that. I mean, yes, that's beautiful. Yeah. But nobody's Some, ever gonna see it sometimes it's, people beat them up too right yeah yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. I, I i'm notoriously rough on <laughs> my same, equipment same. I, I, I drop Abusive stuff i use it it, it doesn't know. spend all <laughs> yeah. its life in the safe it yeah. gets carried absolutely and nobody ever sees it yeah yeah and <laughs> you know? so and exactly and there's plenty of people out there that just wanted that and they were like hey we don't need all of this extra stuff we just need a performer and we need something that will work for us in a variety of different self-defense scenarios. Yeah, and I think it's probably a lot more common that people buy a gun and carry it like a normal everyday person Correct. and not buy a gun to take Instagram photos of exactly. it. <laughs> exactly, so you can kind of think of these as your daily commuter and this yeah. is the guy that comes out on the weekends, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, again, uh, they're fantastic shooting guns. They still retain at its core all of the engineering that went into these guns to make them incredible shooters for the size of the gun that they are. It feels it's good. a lot of rail space. Um, when that gun unlocks, the cant of the barrel is not that substantial. So we're not talking about an incredibly huge amount of movement that's happening with the slide. So all of that has come into play to make it a very manageable three inch barrel gun. Awesome. There we These go. are my big boy pants. <laughs> I get it, I respect that you, you know, I'm standing right in front of you, it makes it difficult, especially when you're manipulating safe direction. But but yeah, so we're really proud of these guns and so we just, we wanted to make sure that we uh, fielded something out there for people who are just looking for everything that they need and nothing more. Awesome. Well, thank you again for your time. It was a real pleasure. Thank you for putting up with my crap. <laughs> <laughs> if people want to know more, where should they go? So 
I'm sure there's a lot of questions that I haven't answered that you guys might have. So My urge to know more is yes, intensified. Yes, always. <laughs> so um, if you do have any questions about any of these guns, you can always head to KimberAmerica.com. Um, if there's uh, something that's not on the website that you still want to know, shoot us a line, man. You can always give us a call, reach out to us, customer service. We're available on all social media as well. But that's where you'll find everything you need. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. We're going to be at a lot of different booths. Stay tuned. I love you.